welcome back to the channel. Oh, hope everyone's well. Uh, this is an afternoon drop. Um, uh, so what I'm looking for, it's along this road apparently, Red Row Homes. So I'm looking for the yellow, those yellow symbols, yellow, yellow signs, should I say. It's on this lamppost here. That says Romans Green, I'm not after that one. I have recorded um, a new intro this morning while I, while I was starting a bit later. Um, I came in a bit earlier just to record that with my drone. Uh, how do you like that? <laughs> I thought it was okay. I needed to update it. I can't have the Tesco one and I'm a bit bored of the, just the, the black starry one. So I think it, that looks, I think it's okay. I'm also looking to change my logo, that one with the, the running truck trainer running. on the back of a truck. So if anyone's a graphic designer out there, wants to do it for free, <laughs> give me a shout. Some more yellow signs here. There we go. Red Raw at Tabley Green. There we go. Like I said, I do have a contact name and number. So if I was stuck, I'd give them a call. But fingers crossed. See that you <laughs> Red Road Tabley Green. It's close enough to Fox Gloves. Very nice houses around here. There we go, the red row sign up ahead. Sometimes the entrance is just driving into a, a normal road like this. But there is a big sign there saying red row. The question is, am I turning right? Yes, I am. Another nice sign there. This is nowhere near the postcode I've been given, by the way. Nicely organised, the telehandler there. Let's have a look, see if we can see a compound. So we have a compound there. Just drive straight in. Construction traffic, red road parking. Just stop here so I don't know where that guy's gonna go. Judging by his hand signals, I'm gonna be driving up to the right and backing round to the left. No mate. Reverse it to that car, don't go on that fence line. On that fence line. Oh, I've got no crane. It's a, it's a flat. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's expecting a, a crane. Expecting a crane, and I've not got one.
Is that scaffold guy will get out now? We're back into that space. fit in Get a bit over to the uh, my right hand side. I don't know if this Italian wants to get out or he's going to help me or whatever. It doesn't look as though he's, he's looking to help me. Not reverse, I mean, I mean, I mean unload me. Right, so we're tipped. It didn't keep me waiting long, to be fair. I'll have a quick look at the match before I set off. Because I have to back. I can't, I can't make that right turn here. I can't turn right there. So I'll need to drive up where that excavator is now. And I have to back out onto the main road. Um, looking at maps. Where am I? Yeah, I can back out either way. I can back out either way. Right, just making sure there's no cars coming out of that car park to the right of me, to the left of me. So I'm going to drive down there and get the angle to come <laughs> back out onto, the, onto this road. It's not ideal, but building sites aren't generally ideal. For trucks. Give it a go, shall we? Before, before I start that, I want to give myself more of a, more of a run up. I want the back of my trailer to be sneaking out of there. Across the back of my experiment. <laughs> there we go, that's why it's got rubber on there.
nice and slow. Straighten it up. Straighten it up a bit now. Yeah, and I put a bit more of an angle on now. I've got loads of space on the left. Off that fence, Andy. Should be fine. Uh, you can stop traffic if you can. You can stop traffic if you can. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to back that way and go and go that way. Makes it a bit quicker. Get the angle on now. In a rush. <laughs> Cheers, man. Appreciate her. See you again. <laughs> That's actually drive wants to go right behind me, so it was a good idea for him to. Uh, Little toot for waiting. Yeah, the building sites are not generally catering to <laughs> HGVs. Ideally, I'd want a nice big turning circle so I can drive around without even reversing. <laughs> You don't always get what you want. Yeah, I might roll this into tomorrow because I've got only got one drop tomorrow, Northampton. And like I say, I'm not going to record the collection process because it all oh, is the same. Well, there's variations of the products, but it's it just pallet to brick or block. So, like I say, it's just um, it's not quite recording now. And they're quite secure on site as well, so yeah, I'm not allowed to record. So my hands are tied anyway, even if I wanted to. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow at Northampton. And just like that, we are into the next day, and we're in Northampton. So I've just literally come off the M1. Uh, it's half past eleven today. So we've started a bit earlier, picked up where we've picked up, and then we've just been travelling down here. It took three hours to get down. So it's just off the motorway, I believe. It's only a mile. Right, and an hour ago, I had a phone call from the office saying that something is wrong with the uh, telehandler. So they might not be able to tip me, <laughs> but he said, head down, see what's happening. Um, if the telehandler is not working, we might be able to get another driver over with his uh, Moffitt, which is a forklift that attaches to the back of a trailer. Um, so then he can tip me then. But we'll have to see. We're coming off here. Calling Tree Park. This is, um, yeah. 
I think, I think the area is called Collingtree Park, but I think the actual site is Collingtree Park. Unless it's, it's not. <laughs> but we're looking for Bovis Homes. Oh, there is a sign that's in Collingtree Park Estate. It says no trucks, no deliveries. Well, it says no trucks. But we're delivering, so we have to go down. Take it nice and easy over these humps. So Collingtree Park only. So it looks like an established estate. Again, yellow sign there directing us in, which is very good. Let's see what we're doing. Hopefully, I can just back into the compound and it'll tip me um, but it does sound like there's an issue on site so I'm just keeping my eyes peeled for any signs of building sites a good sign is down here is the uh, if you see the dirt on the road that's like dust off the, a building site Sign up ahead, yellow sign. Very nice. Got this one, so this is the estate. These cars coming behind me. Quite a few cars, so I'm just going to uh, put the hazards on, let them overtake. So I'm going to be going very slowly. Come on, hazards are on, go around. There we go. There's a car coming down as well, don't want to meet it on a, on a bend. So let's head down there then. So all these do look <laughs> complete. So we've built the building behind this road here. Site office. Yeah, there's only a couple of houses there, it's not a compound. And lots of different signals, like they've said the road bit dustier, getting more dustier the way along we come down here, so I'm hoping this is right. It, it feels right. <laughs> but you never know, I've been to other sites where it's, I've got it completely wrong and I'm backing up a long road. So it does say uh, no deliveries before 8am, so we're, no issues there. There is a telehandler with this boom up in the air. That's always a good sign. So I'm just going to pull up here. There's a guy in a hut, which is a good sign as well. Um, the diggers are going to go on the break in 20 minutes. So I'm going to wait here for 20 minutes. When they go on the break, we can go on the field we'll get tipped and then we'll be done
Right, so change of plan. It's been about half an hour. So I'm going left here, I'm not going straight ahead. Fort lift is going to be coming up to uh, to tip me at some point. wasn't quite uh, specific with that one. Let's go back up here. I'm just going to stop here. Right, and uh, I was just asking the question, where do I, where's he going? Nowhere. Where do I turn around? Because usually those guys will, will know where the trucks usually turn around. Uh, where, the, like I say, if they normally turn around at the top, I'd have gone the top, into that compound, or would have gone into that compound. So it's always best to, just to ask what they're seeing every day, you know what I mean? Not just trying to squeeze into a tighter gap than what you have to. Turns out, he says I can drive all the way out. You can go out this way. Just literally drive out, so <laughs> there's no, no more manoeuvring. Don't know why he's closing the gate behind him. He said I can drive straight out, so I'll stop me on gates. I don't know why he just walked off like that. Hey, I don't think he wanted to set me on. <laughs> but, I'll close the gates behind me. Don't want anyone but getting confused and driving in there when they shouldn't be. You know what I'm into. Right. Yes, that's probably one of the easiest drops I've done that one. We drive in, drive straight out. So yeah, I think this is probably the best format to do it for the time being. Just uh, two drops. So sometimes I'll do two drops in one day. Or if you just do one drop, I'll stitch it together. And like I said earlier in the vlog, which was yesterday, um, let me know if you like the new intro. Or if you want to make improvements on it, let me know. And on top of that, the logo. I am looking to change that logo again. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So I think that's it for today. So if you do like the video, click the button, click subscribe if you're not already, because I know quite a high percentage of people watching don't subscribe. <laughs> they just happen upon the video. It does help the channel out as well. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.